Hi everyone, I'm Damon McLoonan. I'm an eye specialist from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm the founder and CEO of Liquid Medical. We're a local medtech company pioneering a new class of glaucoma devices. Glaucoma is the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide and we're developing devices which offer the highest potential for cost-saving benefit and preventing blindness from glaucoma. I founded Liquid Medical in an attempt to create a new type of device which I believed had the potential to become the new gold standard for the treatment of glaucoma. I realized that glaucoma was a major problem, especially in our rural communities, while doing my community service in 2012. I realized that existing glaucoma devices have unpredictable outcomes and a high rate of complications. So I tried to come up with a new way to treat glaucoma, and our current flagship device, the OptiShunt, was invented. At Liquid Medical, we're focused on developing long-term implants for the eye to treat an eye condition known as glaucoma. Now, glaucoma occurs due to a buildup of fluid pressure in the eye, which damages the optic nerve. So we've developed two main devices for treating glaucoma. The eye flow, which uses the traditional means of treating glaucoma by draining fluid into a space around the surface of the eye. And then in higher risk patients, we've developed a completely novel groundbreaking device known as the OptiShunt which uses a unique method of draining fluid out of the eye, which offers the potential for longer pressure lowering effect with less complications and more cost saving benefits for patients and healthcare funders around the world. The funding we received from the CDI was instrumental in taking our business from a small, I don't even want to say home business, it was a, it was a desk business, to a real business with patents awarded, uh, a real working concept device and our first employees. And it really gave other investors the confidence to partner with us. And now we've grown to a mature startup with a large team and a wide portfolio of patents and devices in clinical trials already. So the funding from the CDI was used to file our first patent and to develop our proof of concept device. This was a springboard which enabled us to then develop further versions of the device, which we took to clinical trials, grow our patent portfolio and bring on team members of highly qualified individuals so that we're now a mature startup and we're on our route to commercialization. Our next major steps are ISO 13485 accreditation of the company and CE or FDA certification of our devices. The CDI funding was used to overcome two major hurdles. The first was we didn't have any patent protection. And this is very difficult because you can't go and get advice from other people. You can't discuss with the leaders in the field because you're concerned about someone taking over your, your concept. So enabling us to file our first uh, provisional patent really enabled us to then expand on the idea. Secondly, it enabled us to develop a proof of concept device. We knew that theoretically the device would work, but we needed something that we could actually take to bench testing, animal testing, and eventually clinical trials to prove this concept. At the moment, we're focused on our clinical trials. We're trying to get as much clinical trial evidence as possible because at the end of the day, this is the key factor that funders and investors will want to look at. So we're currently growing our trial portfolio into a multi-center trial. In parallel, we're also working on iterative design developments of our devices to try and optimize the design to ensure our trial outcomes are as good as possible. And as we develop new aspects of the device along the way, we're also growing our patent portfolio. And those are the main things that we need to get to the end of clinical trials, at which stage we will then submit to the FDA and MDR for certification so that we can begin commercialization. I found the team at CDI Capital to be highly professional. They're obviously passionate about growing young startups and giving them the best chance of maturing into something really special. I can highly recommend anyone looking for someone to partner with during the early stages of their business to go and get in contact with the CDI. I would really like to recommend that young people who are thinking of getting involved in innovation and startups should take the leap of faith and go with it. It's one of the most difficult things you'll ever do, but also one of the most rewarding. Here in South Africa, we really have a unique opportunity where we have first world innovation combined with the, the needs of a, of a resource limited setting. And I really think we can do amazing things. The most important thing that you can do, however, is to partner with the right people and get the right advice. So working with someone like CDI Capital will really help you take your idea to the next level.